What's up guys, my name is Josh. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing the top five things that I hated about the Carnival Horizon. What in the world were they thinking? Well, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. We've got some big news for you on the Carnival Horizon today. Listen, if you are new here, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already, or you can do it at the end of this video if you rather. But it is going to let you know each and every time that we upload something new, something fresh here on the channel. And if you like this video and you agree with me at the end, don't forget to hit that like button for me. Let's jump right into it. So in no particular order are the items that I'm about to list. I didn't have one above the other. This is just the way that I kind of categorize them in my head, but take with it what you will. I consider them all an even platform on the reasons why I didn't like them. The first thing that we're going to mention about the things that I hated about the Carnival Horizon is definitely, without a doubt, going to be the Sea Day Brunch. Now, this is the second time that I've had the opportunity to enjoy the Sea Day Brunch, and uh, I did not <laughs> enjoy it. It was not good. The food was really, really dry. Even the dessert, the brownie, kind of tastes like it had been sitting under a heat lamp for a little bit. I'm not sure if, you know, it was just made to early or what have you, but Sea Day Brunch, everybody always raves about it, and I did not find it very appealing on board the Carnival Horizon, unfortunately, so I would like to see that improved in the future. Number two, number two of the things that I hated about the Carnival Horizon would definitely, without a doubt, be the comedy club, punchliner comedy, the, the club size. Sorry, sir, the lounge is full. As well as the amount of shows and the times that they were scheduled. Oftentimes, shows were scheduled either really early, like it would cut in almost anybody, Shirley's dinner, unless you had dinner up on the buffet. It would cut into your dining time, or shows were often scheduled at the same time that the main show up in the theater were going, both main shows. And it would be new shows that would not be repeating. I found that quite like baffling because then you kind of felt like you had to pick and choose. Okay, do I want to go to comedy or do I want to go see the main show? Obviously, we chose the main show because they were brand new to the Carnival Horizon, you know? So, uh, I, I do wish that they would separate those out where possible. I do understand that logistically and scheduling-wise, sometimes that just is not possible. But I would like to see a little bit more flexibility if I were to return back on the Carnival Horizon. The number three thing that's worth mentioning about the things that I hated or did not like about the Carnival Horizon is the sky ride needs a better system so I said this once we got off the Vista but I do thoroughly believe that some sort of ticketing or buzzering system other cruise lines have done it with similar attractions where you kind of get a pager or you get a bracelet or something or a time for you to come back when your ride is. I find that waiting in line for over an hour or sometimes even longer for a three minute ride on board a cruise ship is just not practical. If we're in Walt Disney World, okay, that's what you're going for, that's what you expect. But on a cruise ship where there's so much more opportunities, there's so many bars and lounges for the ship to ultimately make revenue off of, I would find it very smart of the cruise lines to come up with a way for a buzzer system or pager system. Not only that, but the sky ride is often broken or down. It actually, we were told when we got on board that it would be down all week. Thankfully, the wonderful maintenance team on board the Horizon was able to get it fixed about halfway through our cruise. But even then, half of our cruise we were unable to use the sky ride so got to come up with a better system for that i'm particularly interested for the carnival mardi gras the new bolt coaster if they will have some sort of uh expanded system something like this on that because that only seats two two rows of seats i believe so again i think that we're going to be finding long wait times for that ride as well Moving on to number four, number four thing of uh, things that I hated or did not like about the Carnival Horizon was the fact that yet again, there were no bedside outlets, no USB or plug outlets. Now, for me, that's just an inconvenience for my cell phone, you know, having to use a battery backup. But I do know that many folks, even you maybe watching this channel, have a CPAP machine or other similar machine that, you know, with sleep apnea, something that you need oxygen tanks to sleep at night, safety equipment. There needs to be something beside the bed for uh, folks to plug in. 
I am aware that you can get a drop cord from housekeeping, but then it's running all across the room. You've got trip hazards, especially for the elderly. I just think that putting a simple outlet next to the bed would solve all of those issues. This is something that a lot of cruise lines are doing these days. We just recently were on the MSCC side and they had one. I've seen many other cruise ships have it, so I'm not sure why the Carnival Horizon, Carnival's newest flagship, did not have it. I have been told that the Carnival Mardi Gras that's coming in 2020 will have them. So very exciting news for that ship. And finally, number five on the list of things that, that I hated about the Carnival Horizon was the fact that we had to leave. Guys, ultimately, it was a great, fantastic cruise. We thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. The staff were absolutely spectacular, took such amazing care of us from the dining staff to the wait staff to the entertainment team to the funds, all of the above. The shows were magnificent. So ultimately, the thing that I hated most was that we had to leave. Of course, vacation was over. Now, now I do need to kind of uh, throw in here that when I say the word hate, I use that very, very lightly. Of course, this was a cruise ship and uh, just as anything, things can change, things can evolve, things can adapt. By no means did any of the things that I listed in today's video ruin or even come close to ruining our cruise vacation. These are just things that... Uh, after you know being on many cruises, looking back, these are some things that I would like to see maybe improved on the horizon when it goes into a dry dock or even on future cruise ships after it so that you know the the overall experience for the consumer you and I can be much much better guys like I said at the beginning of this video if you did like it go ahead and hit that like button down below and subscribe if you're new that will let you know each and every time we upload something new something fresh right here on the channel for you until next time it's been real it's been fun it's been real fun my name is Josh and we'll see you on the high seas